Good morning from day 49. Um, we have a relatively short day today. Um, so we're going to do maybe um, 10 miles uh, and then camp up at uh, just before a uh, freeway or an interstate. I can't remember what, what it is. Um, and then we're going to get a shuttle in tomorrow morning into a place called Marion. Um, staying tonight, or we stayed last night at this shelter, uh, the uh, partnership shelter. We didn't order pizza because Fresh Grounds brought us pizza, um, amazingly. Uh, so it's a, this is a nice double-decker shelter. No bear box here, which is a bit weird. Um, uh, there is a privy there, which is a just drop toilet, but then over there behind the trees and i'll show you a little bit later is the visitor center mount rogers visitor center which is open from 8 30 to 4 at the moment uh, and um it has heated bathrooms with warm water flushable toilets toilet paper um and yeah so that was that's a, been a nice nice treat to use this morning um but yes so say shortish miles today uh, might stop at a shelter, but we're not sure. Um, just depend, like the rain is going to come down. Um, this is uh, this is the downstairs of of partnership shelter. This so in here is a shower um, that is not plumbed in at the moment. Uh, I guess this is some sort of cleaning stuff. And then up here is a uh, space for more hikers to camp and sleep. Uh, yeah, it's a really nice shelter. The has drinking water, so you don't even have to filter it, available over at the visitor center. Like I said, I'll show you around there in a second, but yeah, that's the plan for today. Um, just a, yeah, just a shortish 10 mile, 10 or so mile hike. The rain is supposed to get like, like it's spitting a little bit now, but it's supposed to get uh, pretty rough later and then particularly tonight. So our thought at the moment is to hunker down at the next shelter, which is maybe seven miles. Um, and then that'll leave us like a, a four mile hike in tomorrow morning um, to the, the place where the shuttle is picking us up. But at least then we're not packing up wet tents as much as possible. So, but again, yeah, I'll uh, fill you in more a bit later. Bye. We've seen a lot of these. <laughs> okay, a couple of uh, nice, nice uh, straight climbs. Uh, feels like a minute since I've been this puffed going up, only like maybe 500 feet uh, for the pair of them, but straight up um, over a really short distance. So yeah, got the, got the lungs going. I've had to crack open the poncho, even though it's still raining. You can see like where the poncho reaches to. Uh, the bottom of my shorts are wet, but the top is still dry at the moment. But yeah, I had to, Ooh, had to crack it open to stop myself from viciously overheating uh, at the top of that climb. Ah, good. Uh, the rain has actually sort of eased off to a very light drain, rain now. May have even stopped altogether, but uh, yeah, fun. Just about, there you go, rain again. About four miles in, so. Uh, it's just, it's nearly one o'clock, um, very late start because we hunkered down in that shelter, partnership shelter, to see out the, the morning rain, knowing that we didn't have a huge amount to do. Um, the plan has changed again, so we were contemplating seven miles, stopping off at a shelter um, and hunkering down there and then doing four miles into the, the gap for town um, 
it looks like there's going to be a bunch of people at that shelter and it's only supposed to fit to fit six um and honestly the last couple of nights in shelters have not been the most relaxing um lots of people lots of very loud snorers um lots of people getting up and banging around and just general you know going about their their business but it's um it can make for a fitful night's sleep versus sleeping in a tent um but what we've decided to do is uh, push 11 miles today um which is still a super short day for us um so nearly half of what we did yesterday um and we're going to stop in a uh like a hotel that's more or less right on trail right by the interstate so we're going to stop there um because the rain is supposed to get really bad tonight but obviously it doesn't matter if we if we're hiking in there in the in the wet and rain because we can dry off they have laundry options so we could possibly do laundry um and then tomorrow do a essentially a zero into um into marion um for um some resupply and uh, i think i need new shoes so my the shoes that i started with had done maybe 150 ish miles on uh, before i came and now close to 550 ish on it now so they are probably in need of replacing and they have started to like split on some of the uh and, and some of the uh like the the vent areas uh, they normally have so it's i mean they're still holding together and i could probably eke them out for a bit longer um but being in the wet and the damp for the last uh, week basically has uh has probably seen the last of them so i may i may need to buy some new shoes um definitely need to resupply for the the push onto perisburg um which is probably the next big town for us uh, which is, I think, something like 80, somewhere between 80 and 100 miles uh, away. So we need, you know, five, five-ish days food, maybe, um, to, to get to there. Um, but that's, that's, that's tomorrow soaps, um, uh, problem to, to, to work out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at distances and see what, what you know, what kind of mileage I want to pull, um, and there but, but yeah so that's the plan that's the plan for today 11 miles into uh something called the relax in relaxing uh -huh. um which is a hotel where again showers much needed um potential laundry which is also much needed uh and then maybe dinner at a mexican restaurant which is apparently right there on on trail but we'll see anyway for now the rain's starting to come down again so uh see you later a view of Walker Mountain, you say? I mean, I guess. Somewhere in the distance, maybe. <laughs> it's apparently a museum. Um, there was a sign. Looks like this is definitely not the type of place where people die in horror films. Oh. I'm the slowest one, that means <laughs> you guys can just push me down. This is corn crib. A, a farm shop <laughs> and a corn crib for those gangsters. Mm -hmm. corn crib? And a machinery shed and a chicken house. Everything's labelled. Mm -hmm. This is very cool. No, it's not. It's not. It's all boarded up. I've seen the. I've seen it on YouTube. Yeah. Like it's all preserved as to how it could. Yeah. So this is a.
You can see it's all kind of set up there as it would have been. Yeah, it's it's set up. It's like it's all set up as a as a house. But I don't think you can open the door. Oh, but you can see in the barn, right? Eh? Are you sure? No. Yeah, it's locked. No, it's not. It's 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 a thing. And then the schoolhouse is. <laughs> We're gonna they're gonna come out and shoot us, but that's fine. Where is the schoolhouse? Uh, I think it's round. Maybe. There's definitely somewhere that's. Yeah. In addition to the farm, there is also this school. Ooh, so, so in theory, 80 hikers are allowed to stay here, um, particularly if the weather is inclement. But, uh... Oh, hikers can stay at the, the, the picnic shelter, which is back over the other place, but... This is an old school. There's a hiker box there by the looks of things. Hiker, hiker boxes, trail magic potentially, a chalkboard. Yeah, there's trail magic in here. Whoa! Sass is excited. Gadget, look to your right. No way. Yes way. Where? So yeah, you used to be able to move these benches, but it looks like now they, they want you to stay back at the picnic shelter, but cool. Oh, that's a brick, that's not a brick. So, having hiked all day in weather that wasn't too bad, like a little bit of rain this morning. Oh, yeah. yeah, a little bit, so um, we have hunkered down in a hotel, definitely didn't need to. It's the apocalypse, it's monsoon season. We would possibly be dead if we were out there. I mean, that's just in like the last few minutes that started to really come down. Also quite good because we were, we were five minutes ago about to walk up to the Mexican restaurant, which is apparently up the road. We would be out in this getting soaked. So, so it's a good plan that we didn't go out in this. Might be getting a lift. <laughs> Crazy. The skies have literally just opened. Okay, maybe not literally. The skies literally have just opened. <laughs> literally. The world is literally. Literally. Ended. The world is literally ended. Are we supposed to walk out there? No. No. No, we are we are supposed to batten down the hatches in the hotel room, which looks a little bit gear explodey. We have stuff everywhere. <laughs> 